Hey everybody, it's Andrew Kayser with AndrewKayser.com. Today we're going to take a look at setting up a search field with some pretty cool subtle effects from jQuery and CSS. It's really basic and we'll go ahead and get right into it. What you see on my screen right now is a very basic HTML page with absolutely zero content. First thing I want to do is put my search field in the page. So we'll go ahead and open up an input tag. Type will be text. We're going to give it an ID of search input with an underscore. And we will give it a value of search dot 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 close it off and we'll go up here and we'll give it a little bit of style now if you have a style.css you will want to put your CSS for this right there I don't so okay so what I want to do for this example is I want to align the text in the center of the input field and I want to have it be red and bold. So we'll do text align center color red, which is FF and then four zeros and font weight bold. Okay, so there is our search field with red bold text center aligned. So what we'll do now is we're going to install jQuery because jQuery is going to handle the behavior of the search bar that I want to play with. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to jQuery.com. It'll bring you to a page that looks like this and you're going to click download right here. Now in this example I'm going to use a content delivery network hosted jQuery so I'm gonna click the CDN hosted right here and we're just gonna go ahead and pull this URL um, this is the Google Ajax API CDN so what's up to Google we'll install this real quick by opening a script tag type equals text slash JavaScript and source equals that URL you just copied Script tags have their own closing tags, so make sure not to close it by itself. And that is how you install jQuery. So that's that part's done. Now the fun stuff starts. We get to start another script. Type equals text slash JavaScript. And one of the first things you want to make sure is that the document is fully loaded with, you know, your your DOM. That means your page is fully rendered and fully loaded. Nothing else is going to be done. So to do that with jQuery, you're going to first start your selector, which is the dollar sign. And inside of the next parentheses, we'll put document and the function dot ready. That basically means if the document is ready, do what's next and we'll create an anonymous function which is one of the coolest things about jQuery and we're set so now after the page loads everything inside of this little section will be executed so to speak okay the first thing we want to do is tell we're gonna define a variable that we have the default CSS and then we have what we want the CSS to look like once the user clicks on it. So we'll do var active search CSS equals. And we're going to open up a bracket. And this is this is just like your CSS. We'll do text align left. Oh man. Oh man text align left and comma to separate each one we'll do font weight uh, thin none I guess it would be and then color 
will be black. Okay, and now we want to make sure that we can revert back to the default CSS. So we're going to create another variable, call it default search CSS equals. Open up your brackets, we'll do text align center font weight bold and color red and you can type in red if you want okay so now that those things are set up we're going to go ahead and get into the behavior so we're going to go ahead and select the search input field and we want to we want to focus on when the user clicks on it so we're going to go ahead and type in the click function and we'll create another anonymous function open up some brackets get a little space and make sure that's all closed off so you don't forget that stuff later go ahead and add the semicolon and whatnot okay so we've clicked the search input field now first thing you want to do is make sure that the value is still the default value which right here is search so we're gonna go ahead and create an if statement if and we'll use this to define to to talk about the, the very specific element that we're working with val to grab to grab the value of it if it equals there's two equal signs to make sure that we're not setting the variable we're, we're comparing and we will do if this value equals search that means we are okay to get rid of it so what we'll do is We'll select this again, and we'll use the CSX, CSS function to put in the active search CSS styles. And we also want to get rid of search. So we'll do this dot attribute, which is dot ATTR, and we'll do value, comma, and then we're just going to put in two quote, little quote marks right there just to set it to be nothing. So we'll save that real quick. Let's go over here and check it out what we got so far. Okay, so we'll open up our console just to make sure if there's any JavaScript errors. But when I click on this, it should just be blank. And there it goes. Now the trouble is when I click out of it, there, there's still nothing. So what we want to do is come back here now what that what happens is when you click on something it becomes active you know you, you you click and then when you click off of it it's 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 referred to as blur so we're going to do the same thing we did with the click function just above and we'll type in search input dot blur function an anonymous function oh and there we go okay so again now if we want to set this back to the default we need to make sure that they haven't typed anything in so what we'll do is we'll do if this dot val equals equals blank which is what we set it to right here in this line then only if it's blank will we will we reset it so we'll do this dot CSS default search CSS and this ooh, this dot attr value search dot 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 make sure everything's still the same 
Okay, now save that. Let's go back to this. Okay, we'll refresh the page. Instantly we see our search bar is still there. And we click into it, still goes away, which is really good. Now when we click out of it, it comes right back. That is perfect. Now, to fully test it, we need to make sure that when I type something in there, and then click out of it, that it doesn't change. Okay, which it didn't, so that's good. So now, if we delete all the text, it should work again. Okay, perfect. All right, hope you guys learned something. Uh, hope you had fun. You know, if you have any questions with jQuery, if I need to explain anything a little bit further, go ahead and post a comment or, you know, get a hold of me somehow, and I'll, I'll definitely help you guys out. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Andrew Kayser, peace out.